Watch you guys got another video here for you. Stop using these websites to pick PC parts or find uh, answers to your questions or even to find a solution to a problem that you might be having with your PC. Sites like these are popping up all over the internet and they're there for one reason and that is to make money. Let me show you exactly what I mean here. So many people recommend sites like these to try and find uh, solutions to their problems. For instance, if you're looking for a power supply for a 6700 XT, you may go on Google and if you type the right question out in Google like this, for instance, 6700 XT power supply requirement, you will see the answer is right here listed 650 watt uh, system power supply. And the reason why this is popping up is because it's coming straight from AMD's website here. If you go to AMD's website, they will give you the exact information that you're looking for. It says right here, minimum 650 watt power supply. That's what you need. Always look at the manufacturer's website. They will give you the correct information of what you should be looking for if you're looking for a power supply. So many people are looking for things like this on the internet. And you can see here, looking down here, Reddit is another one that will pop up with a lot of questions that people are having. Then you can see here, suggested PSU for AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. And this is on, of course, whatpsu.com. And you work your way down. Linus Tech Tips is coming up here quite a bit with people asking questions on the forum there. And again, you're going to get a mixed bag of answers. So what you should be doing is you shouldn't be using sites like this because let's go ahead and do a search here for a 6700 XT. And what we'll do is we'll select it and we'll just calculate it for the power supply. And you can see it's telling me that the power supply they're recommending is 450 watts. Now that, of course, is not enough for what they're recommending on AMD. Now, the problem is the power draw might not be 450 watts, but they're saying at least 450 watts. So you can see here, 230 watt TDP, and they're recommending a 450 watt power supply. The problem is with this is people are just looking for one item and they're not calculating all of the other items that are in that computer. The CPU and the GPU are the biggest drawing power items on that PC. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not just looking for one item, that you're calculating the whole PC together rather than just doing for one item. Now, where the money making side of it is, is the adverts on here. And you come down, there's some useful links saying recommended right here. And again, you can go ahead and click on any of these and it will take you to that location. And you've guessed it, there will be an affiliate link on that particular link there as you can see right at the very top here what pc and it's got his uh, affiliate link there so it's based on affiliate marketing and they're just looking at making money out of your naivety so this is where you've got to be super careful another thing you can do is you can head over to sites like these ones which are all over the country scan ebuyer and they're all over america as well with their own brand for stats on this particular type of a graphics card that you might be wanting to buy. So let's click on this one right here and we can come down and they've had the technical specifications here and it will tell you exactly what your requirements are for this particular card. And if you come down here, power consumption operational is 230 watts, but the required power supply is 650 watts. So they are telling you exactly what you need for this graphics card. So if you're rocking a 500 watt power supply in that system, then you're going to need to upgrade it. Another problem that people have is they tend to visit sites like what PSU and end up buying the wrong size power supply using their affiliate link. And again, it's nowhere near enough for what you're going to need for that particular graphics card. So stop asking strangers online like Reddit and places like that for questions about what power supply do I need for a 6700 XT when the answer is on the manufacturer's website and you can get all this information by just visiting to the, 
the website of your choice, whether it be NVIDIA or AMD, and choose the graphics card of your choice, and it will give you all of the information, like the typical board desktop power, 230 watt, and minimum PSU recommended is 650 watt. And this is the most important information you're going to get, and it will be straight from the horse's mouth. So don't be using sites like Watt PSU, and there's other sites out there that are just like that as well, that calculate stuff, and they will generate you a few links down there which you can purchase it and again they just get a kickback on it and they're not there to support you when you buy the wrong PSU and again like I said before these are geared up for uh, Amazon links to make money and again this 450 watt uh, rose wheel will not be sufficient enough for you in my personal opinion it's not the fact that any of these are bad power supplies it's the fact that they're just not powerful enough and you could be ending up running into problems uh, later on down the line that means you're going to be pushing the maximum capacity of that power supply and it's going to be running at full tilt you want a bit of headroom in all of the power supplies that you buy and remember having a bit of extra headroom like an extra 150 to 200 watts available is not going to be a bad thing for your pc it will only draw the power that it needs to run that computer the rest will be sitting there in storage waiting for you if you need it and it will make the power supply run a more efficient way by not having to work so hard when you're putting a lower end power supply in there, say a 450 watt, it will probably work, but you're gonna end up having using all of that power and it's gonna be running pretty hot. So you don't wanna be doing that at all. Let me just give you one more example here and we'll look for another graphics card here. Let's do a 3060. And we'll do TI and we'll see if it comes up. I think I need to do that TI as a space. There we go. And we'll do this one here. It doesn't really matter. And we'll calculate this one. And it says 400 watts. And you'll see a bunch of adverts coming on here. And if we go to this website here, we can see uh, RTX 3060 TI. And we can come down and we can see the sort of power supply that you're going to need. And it wants a minimum requirement power supply of 600 watts. So that's what you've got to be careful of. And they're telling you 400 watts compared to what they're recommending, 600 watts. Now, another one I see a lot of people talking about is this FPS and bottleneck calculator. These are other sites out there that are just geared up for adverts. You can see all of the adverts playing on this particular site here that is generating money for them. And I can understand everyone's out to earn a buck, but you know, you get bombarded with ads on these sort of sites here. And basically, they're just incorrect, a lot of this. And you go into here and you're looking, say, for instance, this one here. And we're going to select a CPU. Let's just go for a 5800 x3d and we'll go for and we'll go for a gpu we'll go for the same uh sort of gpu here we'll go for say maybe a, a 2070 super and we'll put some ram in here and we'll also do some ram speed and we'll go with the ram speed here and this is a common thing that a lot of people will do to try and find answers to their questions whether they're getting bottlenecks on their system so let me just quickly find here the settings we'll do ultra settings and we'll do 1080p and we'll calculate and it will go off and it will do its thing a bunch of ads will pop up again you can see there's a bunch of ads here that are clicking up here and let me just go through here i've stopped some of these but you can see there's bunches of them that will be on here and it'll give you some examples and again if you click on these it's going to take you to an affiliate site where you can purchase these with their affiliate link attached just like the uh, power supply one there now there's some convincing stats here with some images and stuff like that now i'm not too sure whether this company has actually gone through and bench test all of these cpu and uh, gpu configurations uh, to make it a true reflection of whether it'll be a bottleneck or not and if we look down here you can see on the high-end system it says on the amd we can come down and look for bottleneck but 1080p and it says 3.2% uh, bottleneck on there and yet you go to another site and you get 11% bottleneck that's a different type of stats 
Same thing, adverts everywhere, affiliate links, and they're just telling you 11%. So you're getting 3% on one site and 11% on this site. And really, no one knows until you benchmark it yourself. And this is the problem. A lot of this stuff is information that's been calculated and gathered probably from the internet. I can't see them sitting there and doing every single CPU and configuration on a PC and putting these up for free on the internet for people to do. There's got to be some uh, incentive behind it. And getting back to PC Part Picker, again, it's a great site for what it is at picking parts, but some of their estimations are a little bit off. And you can see here for the 5800X and also that uh, 6700 XT, they're recommending that you have a 335 watt estimated wattage. And that's just for the two items. Now, we already know that the website is telling you uh, 650 watts. Well, that's quite a big difference uh, there. And again, some people will look at that and say, yeah, well, that is exactly what I need. And then they'll go and spec out their PC like I've quickly done here. And they will see a total of 454 watts for a fully spec'd out PC with a, a, a Ryzen 7 5800X3D and also a 6700 a graphics card in there. And again, it's telling you up the top here, estimated wattage 454 watts. So really, that is not good enough. And this is probably what this is going off of here when it's telling you 400 watt, uh, 450 watts for a 6700 XT. It's probably reading something like this and pulling this information and putting it on their website when it's wrong. You shouldn't be uh, buying a power supply of that small with a 6700 XT in it, and sp certainly not a Ryzen 7 5800X3D in there as well. It will be underpowered. You would need a bigger power supply. So they're the things you have to look out for when you're purchasing uh, stuff online or you're trying to find information about uh, certain bottlenecks or certain power supplies that you might be needing. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's loads of other websites that do other things like this about PCs that you're going to use to calculate things. And you really want to sort of go to the source, really, which is the manufacturer's website like NVIDIA or AMD to find out the you know, the graphics card power supply limits or reputable sites like we talked about earlier, which is the one where you're purchasing stuff like this that's giving you the information uh, like this here. And they're going to give you the correct information because this is straight from the manufacturer. And the same thing goes for uh, if you're buying CPUs and things like that, it will give you the same uh, recommendations. In fact, let's just do a quick look here for a AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D processor. And as you can see here, when you come down and look at the technical specifications, they will tell you exactly what it is here. 105 watts thermal design power. And we go to the AMD website and we can come down here and look at the specifications here. And again, this will give you the default TDP of 105 watts right there. So they're both exactly the same. So this is how you can get the correct information rather than going to websites that are leading you down the garden path and basically misleading you into buying stuff so they can get a bit of a kickback on the Amazon affiliate links or eBay affiliate links that they're using or whatever affiliate links they've got attached to that site. So be very, very careful when buying your parts in this way or listening to someone that's saying that your system is bottlenecked by this amount of percentage and of course they're going to have affiliate links on there for other graphics cards power supplies and things like that that you can purchase straight from that website which will give them a little kickback and it's just misinformation really anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it just a quick update video on how to be careful with some of these websites out there when you're picking your parts or looking for answers to your questions that you might have. And uh, there is reputable forums out there or Discord servers that will give you useful information about this sort of stuff. You can check out some of my links in the video description for our Discord server if you're interested. And, uh, you know, and that's just about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.